tracings from an electrophysiology study with intracardiac and surface electrocardiograms showing 2 is to 1 AV conduction during atrial pacing. The upper six channels in white color are surface electrocardiograms. Leads 1, 2, 3, AVF, V1 and V6. The pacing spikes are sharp deflections of very short duration. The P waves and QRS complexes are marked in lead 2. The width of P waves and QRS complexes are more than the usual because the recording speed is much higher for an EP study, usually 100 or 200 mm per second, rather than the 25 mm per second for usual ECG tracings. Higher recording speeds are used to delineate short intracardiac signal intervals well. Only half the paced P waves have an associated QRS complex, while half do not have blocked P wave. This is because the atrial pacing rate is above the Wengeback threshold of the AV node. Please note that 2 is to 1 AV block is the highest grade of Wengeback type of block possible. 2 is to 1 conduction can also occur in Mobitz type 2 AV block. The polarization artifact is seen in HRAD high right atrium distal channel. This suggests that the pacing stimulus is being delivered from this electrode pair. HRAP, HRA proximal channel does not show this artifact nor does any other channel. The polarization artifact is seen as a broader signal with an amplitude lesser than that of the pacing stimulus in the channel from which the pacing stimulus is being delivered. This artifact helps us to find the site of pacing when an EP tracing is given. HISD distal his bundle electrode shows a good triphasic his bundle potential H and ventricular signal which is of lower amplitude than in the CS12 distal pair of coronary sinus electrodes. The CS12 channel in this case shows a small pacing signal and a high amplitude ventricular signal. The electrodes in the coronary sinus are usually numbered from distal to proximal CS12 to CS910 in case of decapolar electrode. The stim channel just depicts the intervals at which the pacing stimuli are delivered without recording any intracardiac signals. There is also a marker at the level of the pacing stimulus. The various intervals PA, AH, HV, RR, PP, etc. can be measured with online calipers. Some of the channels have been hidden in this image CS34 to CS910 to prevent cluttering of the screen. This helps the operator to concentrate on the tracing important for this particular study. In case of need, they can always be made available on the screen. It is possible to change the recording speed of the display in online as well as offline mode. This helps in evaluating the rhythm better. Please note that the conducted P waves have a corresponding A wave, followed by H and V in the His distal channel while the block P waves have only an A and no H or V. This indicates that the A is blocked above the His bundle, presumably at the AV node. The A wave in the HRAP channel precedes that in the His channels indicating supra-inferior conduction. The intervals in the lowermost green bar is cumulative time interval from 0 to 2000 milliseconds.